Hey guys, in this video we'll be downloading and running this Node.js API on our local machine and testing it with Postman. I'll be following the steps in this tutorial that I'll link to in the video description below. The sections of the tutorial that we'll be going through today are this one here, running it locally, and this section here, testing it with Postman. If you don't have it yet, you'll need to have Node.js installed which you can download from this link here and Postman which you can download from this link here. We'll also be using the git CLI to clone our projects from GitHub so you need that installed as well. Um, once you have those things installed we can get started. So first thing we'll do is uh, jump over to GitHub to get the repo URL. If you don't have the git CLI you can also download the project as a zip file. I'll be using the git CLI in this video though, so I'll just be copying the repo URL here and closing that tab and opening a command window and cd into a project folder that I have for my projects I'm running git the git clone command and passing the repo URL cd'ing into that project folder and running npm i to install all of the package dependencies for that project and running npm start to start the API. Alright, that's all done. The API is up and running. So we can jump on to the next step which is testing the API with Postman. I'll open up Postman and then jump back to see what the first request. So there's a, there's a, just two requests that we're going to be sending. The API just has two endpoints, one for authenticating a user and getting back a JWT token and the second for making an authenticated request with that JWT token to retrieve a list of all users in the API. The API at the moment for testing just has a single hard-coded test user so that's the username and password that we'll be passing it. Uh, so to get started, we'll open up, I'll jump back over to Postman, open up a new tab, changing it to a post request, then setting the URL to the authenticate route, and setting the body to uh, raw and then setting it to uh, the JSON type and then we'll be setting entering this into the body of the post. So selecting the body tab here, selecting raw, setting it to JSON as the body type, pasting in our username and password, test and test, just expand that out so we can see the response easier, and hitting send. Okay, we can see that that's returned successfully with a 200 OK response and we've gotten back our user details and this is the important part, our JWT token which we'll be using in our next, uh, in our next request to make a, an authenticated request to retrieve all users. Moving on to our next request, I'll jump over to open a new tab and this will be making a GET request to the localhost 4000 users route. Now to show you that this is a secure route, I'll first hit send without any authorization header and you can see that the response is 401 unauthorized and we get an invalid token response. Now the next step is to set the authorization header to the JWT token from the previous step. So I'll select the authorization header, set it to bearer token, and go back to the previous tab and copy that token, paste it into the token field and hit send. Okay now you can see that the request was successful with a 200 OK and it has returned all of the users in the API, which at the moment is just our one test user. Alright, that's uh, everything. 
that is how you download, run, and test this Node.js JWT auth API with Postman. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like or subscribe below. Cheers.